Hey guys, I'm just walking into work. Um, yeah, it's 10 o'clock. I start work now. I'm just in my uniform. And yeah, I'm gonna go see the animals. Come here, Dave. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hello, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Hello. Hello. Good girl. Good girl. You're your mummy's boy. Amber, <laughs> but it'll be good. Cause um. in the storage area I just wanted to show you my favorite animal from the farm um, so this here is Bobby she's a little guinea pig I named her after Bobby Strong from Urinetown because when she was first born she was a runt she had tumors all over her back we didn't think she was going to survive um, and she did capsicum's her favorite food so she's currently eating a ton of capsicum but yeah she's just a really adorable little guinea pig I'll come over to the lights so you can see her better yeah she is like I want to adopt her um, that's how much I love her. Yeah, she is my favorite guinea pig. Well, she's my favorite animal on the farm. Look at her little face. Yeah, she's absolutely adorable. And yeah, she'll eat capskin all day if she can. She eats her favorite food ever. And I usually just pick her up just to feed her, just to make sure she gets it, because she's got quite weak teeth. But yeah, that's Bobby, and she's my favorite. Thank you. 
Definitely my favorite animal here. <laughs> Okay, peanut. Right, so I'm just playing with the pigs for now. I literally will just like lie on top of jelly like this for like hours at a time. She's great. And then there's Dumbo over there who apparently was selling because he's a male and he's annoying all the females. But yeah, this is pretty much my job. Love it. <laughs> Nikki, he's a little rooster. He's just he loves cuddling into my neck, so I'm just gonna leave him there. Um, Nikki's really special because he's 13 years old, and most roosters don't live till eight, so he's very, very old for a rooster. And he's very little. Um, he likes to live with the chicks, so he's always with little chicks and like babysits them, I guess. And like we try putting him, putting him outside of the other roosters, but he always just comes back into the barn to after the chicks. I keep stealing animals away to show you guys. I'm currently just in the office, just little thick different animals, but yeah. This one here is a guinea pig, and this is Pikelet. Mm, Pikelet is very cute. She's got beautiful long haired coat. I don't know exactly what breed of guinea pig she is because I forget. Very chatty. Look at her little face. Hey guys, so right now I'm just walking to go get lunch. I always go to like get sushi or McDonald's for lunch because it's like super close um, and it's cheaper than the food that they sell at the cafe um, so yeah I'm just walking there now um, I'm just gonna get sushi and then I might get either a Powerade or like a uh, frozen drink from McDonald's it's super hot today like I'm sweating like crazy okay so I'm now on the other side of the farm and I'm in what we call the pupae room and it's because we hatch our butterflies in here um, so yeah, here's a few of our butterflies. It's quite dark, sorry, but here we go. There are all the ones that have hatched, and there's all their chrysalises, and there's a few on the windows, and we, we release these at certain hours of the day. So yeah, they're all very beautiful. Um, but what I came in here to show you guys is this little guy. We've got three leopard geckos. I'll show you the baby. So there's seven here. Um, so here's one of the babies. So it's obviously a lot smaller. These guys used to be tiny. What I love about these guys is like their skin's actually really soft. It doesn't feel like normal lizard skin. They store all their fat in their tails, which is why their tails are really big. And yeah, honestly, these guys are the cutest. They're my favorite lizards, and I really want to pet one. And the other babies in here. It's quite a bit smaller, so you can see in comparison the difference in size. And this one is a cutie. I don't know the sex of them or anything, but yeah. They are super cute. Yeah, these guys are 
absolutely beautiful. I love them. Look at that smiley little face. Oh my god, look at that little face. Yeah, so I think these guys are absolutely beautiful. They're super friendly. Just look at that. I love the colour on them. You can see why they're called leopard geckos. Yeah, these guys are my fave. What croc did you feed today? Well, I attempted to feed Scout, but he wasn't particularly keen. Oh. oh. You're quite pretty. Do you have any pets at home? Huh? Do you have any pets at home? Cat and a dog. Alright. So, <laughs> how is he? Hey, Scar. Locusts, we use these as live feeders for most of our animals because as you can see we have a lot of these. And then over to some of my favourite animals in the whole wide world, our tarantulas. So we've got a lot of tarantulas. Um, and these are, this is one of our little where we see our tarantulas. We've got lots of tarantulas on display and lots not on display. Um, this is my favourite tarantula in the whole wide world. It's a Costa Rican zebra tarantula. I think that they're beautiful and I really want one. It's another zebra tarantula in the back corner of the It's quite beautiful. They're pretty fun. I can't say I'm particularly fond of it is because they're pretty damn big. I personally can't stand cockroaches. They're my least favourite animal. I think that they're terrifying. <laughs> Good Alejandro, how about you Ped? Pedro? Good auntie. You're going to a new home tomorrow. So it's time to do the birdies, so I'm just grabbing them some nuts so I can bribe them. Hey guys, so I'm just in behind the aviary. Basically in the aviary we've got this den in here. And we have five birds that we keep off um, display at night time. We're not really sure why we keep them off display, we just always have. So every morning we put them out into the aviary um, with the other birds and then every night we take them back. So I am just going to go and take them in now. It's like 4.30 nearly and so I leave at 5. So gonna go into the Avery. Okay, so the red one is Ruby and the next one is Maya. Maya is a blue and gold macaw and Ruby is a female eucalyptus parrot. Up the top here is Malachi. Malachi is my favorite bird in the Avery. He is a male eucalyptus parrot. The males are bright green in color and the females are red. She's super friendly to those that she likes. To African greys, we have Luna and we have Titan. Titan is currently eating over in the far side of the Avery. So here's Luna. Hey Luna. So yeah, I'm just going to bring all these in. Okay, so this is Maya. She is super beautiful. So she, like I said before, she's a blue and gold macaw. I'm not sure how old she is. She's probably about four or five. So she's not super little, but she's not super old. Um, yeah, so she's a super colorful bird. Yeah, two secrets. And she does a couple tricks as well, so I'll show you those. Ta-da! Good girl! High five! Oh. Good girl! Yeah, so that's little Maya. So this is Ruby. She is a female eucalyptus parrot. I'm not sure how old any of these birds are. She's got really sharp claws. We need to cut those a little bit down. 
Um, but yeah, Ruby isn't the friendliest. Um, she doesn't like cuddles or anything like that. And usually Eclipse's parrots are very cuddly in nature, so she's not necessarily super cuddly. Um, but she's definitely very beautiful. She has really nice red and purple colouring. Her stomach is purple, as you can see, and some of her wings. And yes, yeah, she's a really beautiful parrot. And she'll let me pet her sometimes, but she's not as friendly as Maya. But yeah, Maya likes being the centre of attention. So this is Luna, she's an African Grey. African Greys are extremely smart birds. They can have a massive vocabulary. Um, if you like birds, I recommend searching Einstein the African Grey in YouTube. Um, he's a very, very intelligent African Grey um, who has a very big vocabulary. And I honestly think African Greys are beautiful animals. Um, they're all great except for the red tail piece. They've got a couple of red tail feathers. Um, yeah, Maya is looking very jealous as She's watching Luna get food. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we have two African greys. This one's the oldest, and then we have a younger one called Titan, who is new to us. And yeah. Yeah. Just pick at my hair. Ruby will do the same. There you go. Yep. And there's a one up for you. So this is Malachi, um, he's my favourite because he's so cuddly, like I'll just show you guys the focuses, let go of me, yeah, he'll just hug me like this and cuddle into my neck, he's a super cuddly bird, um, so like I said before he's a male ecliptus, um, yeah, I love Malachi, he's my little boy, yeah, he likes cuddles. I'm going to put it in with the others, then I'll get out the last one, who's the troublemaker. So here's a baby of the group, this is Titan. He's also an African Grey. I think the original plan was for him and Luna to mate, but they don't think, I don't think they get on very well. Um, he's annoying, he's the hardest to get out of all the birds because he's the youngest and uh, he's had, so he had less training out of all of them. But he's a good little boy.